Mr. Let's go. We'll never see daylight again. My pleasure, partner. Forgive me, sir. Por qué andas tan enchilado? I doubt you'll be needing this. Con el otro. No interrumpas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, nos da ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero... Yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés. Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo. Comprende. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. If you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. 
So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things. Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. so hard, was it? Come on, I've got another idea. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time.
Ay, señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts. Señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, por favor, señor. Our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. to stay away? Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easily. Let's go! I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Meet it for your team! Dad, amigos! Over there! Looks like that's all of them. Come on, let's keep moving. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't. My sour cast is good with Come on. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Goza conmigo un ratito. Mi amor, ven aquí. ¿Dónde quiere que ponga las provisiones, jefe? ¡Hola! ¿Qué tal, mi flor de Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is 
Javier Señor Escuela es Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Hay muchos gringos que entran México por Ramita Valla. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there.
There should be some horses for us across the way. Come on! Come on! First stop, I'm at the Darrow. Whoa! Whoa! We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. Come on, let's get into those caves. Where's my cover, Marston? Oh, no, you don't. God damn it! This no more, friend. That's it, partner. Where did all these fools come from? I'll kill you all! Yourself soldiers? She must be in here. I'm 
going to see if I can blow the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. You're all dead, amigos! Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Look out! More of the back! Still what done, sir. I taught you well. You fight like chicas! Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Let's go before any more of them show up. meeting us here. 
I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. Easy now. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're good men. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. Compadre, lo que tú digas, I'll be getting off at Chuparosa. You look like you need some treat. I'm going to take a nap.
Dicen que hay un santo famoso enterrado en la peruana. Torquemada, hay soldados jóvenes de pueblo. ¿Qué tal? Venden carne fresca de alta calidad. Eso es lo que dicen, ¿eh? Parece que por fin Reyes y Allende van a declarar una truega. Es que el Allende era un campeón. ¿Qué es eso, pues? Esto termina con un asesinato. Bueno, ¿quién me espera a mis clientes? ¡A la muerte! Lips clean. What can I say? Good luck to you. You got any balls in there? I will pants? stay. Nadie. Aquí. I'm all right. Idiota! La pistola es la hit que me. manda. You hit! Bad luck. Mi flor deslumbrante. Ay, qué macho Good es. luck. Déjame pensarlo. Ándale, gallina. Si no Voy a partir a Les daría paliza General Sánchez a va a visitar Nuevo Paraíso el mes que viene. Eh, hey, guapo. Lo que ofrezco merece Great. mucho, ¿eh? Amigo, another car, please. Oye, no imbécil, stay. ir al infierno. Pues toma. Shit. Well played, I guess. Double down for me. I do doubling. Zapatero a sus zapatos. En la capital ya tienen automóvil. Pues que te traes, imbécil. Me encanta una... Pato. All right. Lady Luck must be sweet on it, partner. Go! Thank you. Guess I'll double down. Hmm, this should be fun. That's it. Dicen que Capitán de Santa duerme con los hombres. Hermoso, pareces bien so... Interesting. Eh, machote. Chelo te llevará al cielo. Hit. Ay, me gustaría montar a este caballero. Stand. Ando no pendejo. I'm Go for stay. it. ¿Sabes qué? Como sure el Allende cowardly. era un campesino. That's gotta hurt. Soy con... Voy de las tripas a la cabeza. More like it. Con apático, con respeto a los pobres. Double down. No son estos asuntos en serio. 
Hey, Give guapo, me a lot of cardio. Lo fresco merece el fresco. Hit car, ¿eh? go. You lucky bastard. Te digo, habrá guerra en Europa. Do you do? Double down from me. Reckless. Think I've lost enough for one day. Nadie aprecia el arte aquí. Why the hell not? On that note, I bid you all farewell. Uh, bueno, senora. Sorry, I ain't that kind of feller no more. Morning to you, miss. Oye, tonto, mira donde andas. Morning, ma'am. Hola, señor. Have a good day, partner. How are you, friend? Andale, let me see if you please. Very interesting. Muy bien. Gracias por sus negocios. Buenas. Muy, muy buenas. Emocionante, un placer hacer negocios contigo. Fantástico, gracias por sus negocios. Bueno, ya encontrarás lo que buscas. I got what I need. Hey, amigo, you want to make some money? Ven conmigo. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons? I... Slow down! 
ninguna manera. Soy una buena. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la iPhone. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> Oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshon! It'd be my pleasure. Another American. Now I need two pairs of eyes. You know what I always say, Muller. If you find yourself in a hole, best to stop digging. I'll call. I'll take a whiskey, if you're buying, Muller. That's better. Now, Fold. Fold! You too must think I'm a fool! A drinking man's luck never lasts, Mr. Ricketts. A little low, don't you think? Mr. Marston, I hope you realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German mines in all of Mexico. I'll raise you. Not for me. Interesting. I'll check. I'm going to check that one. Looks like the table has turned. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller. Let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, 
you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? Steady now, partner. Stay calm. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats. told you. You should have stayed home, Yankee! Put him down. Nobody steals from me, especially an American. Too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. Oh, Dios mío! No merezco esto. No puede ser. Oh, madre mía! Miss partner. No, por favor. Ayúdame, alguien. Oh, Dios mío. No merezco esto. We really aren't making any friends today. Find some cover. Stay away from Chukarora! We want to fight me, partner! I run this I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Oui, 
<laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You live the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. All right, here we go again. No rush. I'm sure they'll hold the executions till we get there. Go! Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived in Trump. Look, it's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Oh, no, you can't. We're taking these prisoners. I think I got 
wagons that must be them come on see if you can take control of that first wagon I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so.
What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax, amigo, relax. <laughs> sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come me drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor name, Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! You can take your horse or ride on the wagon. Welcome from the Mexican army, I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words that the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No, like a papagayo. He just repeat lies you heard. 
baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the middle. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. <sighs> Who are these outlaws you hunt? It's Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him, too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals. Mostly in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico. Senor, and we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. Just saying, there must be something behind this rebellion. Oh, no, you was behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're going to look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor. A liar. A coward and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic worm. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcon, giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort it. It will think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some bait they can refuse. Come on, the train is waiting. Get on 
your horse. You have to get to the train. Follow me. Stay with the train, senor. Come on. Come on.
Compadre, you did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. ¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo que le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. ¡Todavía, levántese! Ay, ¡Usted joder, también! Ay, ¡Y allá atrás, no. muévase! ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Uy. ¡Ay, Dios mío, levántese! ¡Ya mismo! What are you waiting for? You have to go now!
tal? Along, Gringo, or the next balazo will be for you. No me mate, soy inocente. Look where you're going. Eres llorón, maricón. Me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 me exijo de silencio. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, uh, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, uh, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. 
My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> they she only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, ta, 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 ta. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. And you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. Some men ahead. We will meet them there. Get on your horse, amigo. Come on. When are you going to give me Williamson and Escuela? I'm running out of patience. We gave you our word. That is enough. They're almost certainly in the protection of the rebels. And we're on our way to kill rebels right now. I didn't come here to kill your people. Now you're a bounty hunter who does not like killing? Maybe that is why your allos keep escaping from you. These men and women are farmers, not soldiers. Farmers with guns who are trying to bring this country to its knees. Come, compadre. This is about time for you to become a coward and a hypocrite. If somebody hits you, you hit them back harder. We must retaliate. Weakness is not an option. All right, I get the picture. How is your childhood, Senor Marston? What's that got to do with anything? Were your parents strict? You're being too kind on that horse! Come! men are dead, the rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking... You suppress me, gringo! Easy! Come on! Esanta! Por qué tardaste tanto? Y quién es este gringo? Octavio, por favor! Cada hombre ayuda! I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo! Come! Let's have some fun.
I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. <laughs> Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. Get the fire bottles! It is time to finish what we started! Por aquí, imbécil! ¿Por qué no me sigues? What are you waiting for? Burn it down! the new girls before they spoil. To the victim, the spoil. Someone else. I persuaded him to give the money back. Muchas gracias. You can have some of the money for your help, senor.
Mr. Mercer, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. There's a convoy waiting for us. Come, we must hurry. Let's go. What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where the we rebels go? have taken control of an abandoned fort on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men. A place called Torquemada. We can allow them to establish a stronghold. The Coronel has given me urgent orders. Which are? To kill them all. Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Abraham Reyes tiene un verdadero ejército. Dicen que hay cientos de hombres apostados a Torquemada. Creo que somos muy pocos. Captain Espinosa already has men there. We must get to him before he tries anything stupid. Wake up! We're drawing near to Torquemada. Keep your eye out. I have a bad feeling about this. Rebels! Hold them up! We're not far from the camp! Has made. Is he that deranged captain at Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? He? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog we let out to run sometimes. That is all. I'm in charge here. Follow me. We will lead the wagon here. hombres se habían habido encargado, nos atacaron. Ten cuidado con ese tono de voz. Basta. Come on. Ignore the stupid idiot. Shut your mouth off his boy. Gringo. Take that sniper rifle over there. We have men's work to do.
¡Cargamos colina arriba!
hombre, lo que sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Killer IQ, uh, the search to find women and wine. The best pleasures Earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, DeSanta. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> go get drunk, go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs>